Have you ever struggled to take photos for eBay? And does your back hurt because you're tired of taking photos on the floor? Well, in this video, I will cover my photo station setup that allows me to do 545 photos every day in under 45 minutes. To make the photography process easier, I wanted things to be as efficient as possible. So I needed to take all my photos in one area so I can minimize the steps I take to help save me time. I'll be going over all the tools that I use in this system that hopefully can be helpful to you as you continue your reseller journey. If you're interested in anything that I use in this video, you can find the links to those items in the description down below. So I take all of my clothing photos here on this five by six plywood board behind me. It is covered with a tan cotton blanket that lies vertically at a 45 degree angle against the wall. The fabric you choose is key here as we want to avoid the clothing from slipping off. So having enough friction to hold the garments in place is key. I have a five by six foot board sitting on a desk. So it's just the right height and angle for me when I'm taking pictures. This is so important. If you are taking 500 plus pictures every day, you want to have great positioning so you could save your back and your neck and not end up in a wheelchair or a hospital. I place a small nail at the top of my board with a fishing string attached so I could take pictures of polyester fabrics without them sliding right off the board. So if you are interested in learning more about how you can grow your eBay business, you could check out the link here where I could put a playlist that goes more in detail about what tools that eBay has to offer that we can use to increase our sales. So next are the lights. They are the newer NL 660s and I have one on each side. They are bicolor LED lights that work fantastic for any situation. I set my lights to a cool temperature so I could get a more color accurate photos. Having the most color accurate photos is the key for having an effective photo station in low returns. I also have two LED lights attached to the bottom of the newer LED light stand so I can have more evenly lighted photos. These lights are called the Anduar 140 RGB and have plenty of power for what you need. And like I said, all of these items are in the links in the description below. So onto the accessories that are not so necessary to have for a successful photo station, but I would highly recommend that you take a look at some of them. This lint roller hooked close by was very helpful for me as I did not need to look around to find the lint roller while taking photos. I knew where it was all the time, which helped me save time. I'm all about saving time because I have no time to waste. I recommend getting a basic yardstick so you can include measurements in your listings. Most eBay resellers do not include measurements, but then that opens the door for more returns because the item did not fit because they didn't take measurements. So by adding photos of the measurements to your listings, you are already doing better than 90% of resellers on eBay. This simple lanyard is the key for saving time. When the phone is hanging around your neck, you never lose sight of it. It is always close by, ready to take photos. I use it when pooling and packing orders as well. I take all my photos with a phone on auto, and I know this will make most photography experts upset. I do not use pro mode because the extra time it takes to adjust the white balance, the focus, the brightness, the contrast, etc. I could have already taken 10 more sets of photos in that meantime. So I use the Galaxy S22 for my photos. In the auto mode is very accurate compared to what the garment looks like in real life. If I do not find the auto mode working for me, then I will switch to a pro mode on the camera the shutter speed is so fast on the Galaxy S22 that oh, I do not have to wait for the picture to be taken to move on to the next photo. I have Velcroed this cheap fabric shaver I got on Amazon that works really well when you have peeling on garments that you may have missed while sourcing. So now that I have that close by, I can easily shave off a few seconds during the photo time and not have to worry about picking up items with peeling even though I try to avoid picking up those items. Everything you see here happens in a five by five area in my bedroom. Nothing fancy. I do not have to move far away to grab the next items for picturing. They are all within one to two steps away, which is why I could do this in about 45 minutes or less. 
I hope that this was helpful to you. As you see here, this is nothing fancy and you do not need to drop $5,000 on a setup to take nice accurate photos for eBay. A couple hundred dollars and you're on your way to have a pro eBay photo station to take all of your photos. If you want to take the step to the next level in your eBay business, consider joining my eBay coaching program. The link is found in the description below. This program is designed to work with you one-on-one, -on -one, Monday through Friday, where I can help you put a system in place that allowed me to generate over $100,000 in eBay sales within my first year. Thanks for watching and see you there.